I believe that every able-bodied person should be able to push their own body weight on the floor a few times and also pull themselves up um, a few times. Um, it's a very functional movement um, that we tend to use um, often in our daily um, activities. But when we train, we tend to concentrate on the muscles that we, we see looking in the mirror. That's the biceps and the, the chest and the abs. And um, we often forget the back muscles, which are very important in helping you prevent injuries as you train. And I love the good old pull-up or the um, chin-up, if you want to call it, depending on how you look at it. And today what I'm going to share with you is uh, variations of, um, of the pull-up and the chin-up. Right. But before then, I'll give you some tips. First and foremost, the grip. The grip should not be so hard that you're feeling the tension in your forearms or in your arms. It is not an arms exercise. It is a back exercise. It's meant to give you that strong, large lats to give people a piggyback on. Okay? And also, um, the extension. Um, you shouldn't let your arms fully sag and retract. Always keep the tension in the arms and um, pull yourself up. Contract at the top. Okay? Then um, you talk about the lean. Um, I see guys doing pull-ups and they are pulling themselves up straight. That's, that's wasted effort and just relax, put in a gangster lean, okay? And um, open up your rib cage, squeeze your back muscles, squeeze your lats, and that will get you moving up easier and you don't put a lot of strain on you. And many, many people also say that um, your chin should play the bar and I think that, um, yeah, anyway, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not it because it's a back muscle. So, so long as you're having the contractions in your back and your back muscles are working, you are winning watching. Gazi.